In this video, I'm going to tell you how you can become the star of your hometown scene. What's up guys, it's Brandon from KDMR Music, helping you build a successful music career. If this is your first time here, please click on that button, or is it that button, and subscribe to the channel for more. Today, I'm talking about how to become the star of your hometown scene. So, when you first start out, and when most artists start out, the first thing they want to do is conquer the their town's music scene. So there's probably a local artist that you know that has been doing their thing for a while. They've getting they're getting radio play. They get features and write ups from all the local press. Uh, they may even get you know time on the local TV stations. But all you know is that you want to be one of them. I'm gonna tell you how to do it. So here's four tips to help you break out of your hometown scene. Number one, build your audience. So in the age of the internet, you can build an audience without going through you know, the drudgery and the hard groundwork that a lot of artists have put in before you. You don't necessarily have to go to every club and speak to every booking agent, but you can go straight to the internet, straight to SoundCloud, straight to YouTube with your product just to validate it. You can build up your audience. An engaged fan base is going to take you way farther than any other asset could in today's music industry. So focus on building your fan base. Put your fans first and they will always, always reward you. So be building your fan base all the time. You can build fans away from home using the internet and you can build fans at home using the internet but also using some more traditional methods like going to shows, playing shows, uh, reaching out to your friends and really create a grassroots groundswell for your music. Tip number two, be active. So you don't want to be one of those guys who's just a freeloader on the local scene. It's really difficult for people to take you seriously if they've never met you. They don't know you, they haven't heard anything about you, and the easiest way to combat that is to be active. Go to shows, go to showcases, go to open mics, go to local concerts. It's going to do two things for you. One, it's going to help you see who the major players are. It's going to help you see who you need to be speaking with in order to further your chances of getting some of these bigger opportunities. And it's also going to allow these people to see you. The local scene will support you if you support it. But it's not going to do anything um, if you're just a freeloader. Tip number three, which kind of goes hand in hand with the last one, always be networking. Always be networking. So you should always be going out, meeting people, speaking to people, introducing yourself, and also adding value to whatever it is they're doing. If they're a booking agent, they want to find people that are going to fill up venues. So maybe you're that artist that can fill up a venue, but you've got to let them know who you are. You've got to network with them. But networking can't be a self-serving activity. As you start going around on the local scene, you're going to meet a lot of people who can put you in places that you want to be. And it's going to be difficult for them to help you if you can't help them achieve their goals. So it has to be mutually beneficial. Now I've talked about this before in a networking video and I'll link to that in the description, but always, always be networking. Tip number four, be humble. In today's music industry, good music is just not enough to get you to the places you wanna go. It probably never was, but now more than ever, music is not just about who has the best song. The people that are in the positions that you envy worked incredibly hard to be in those positions. So discrediting them or trying to talk down about them is not going to help you at all. So you've got to be humble. You have to understand where you are in the food chain, so to speak. And don't, you know, don't talk down about yourself, but just understand your role. Be grateful for the opportunities that you get and work really hard to expand your selection, to, um, <laughs> to bring up your value so that when it's time to find the new crop of artists that are going to be the hometown mainstays, your name comes up. You want to be that person that was always respectful, who's easy to work with, who performs their butt off. You know, you want to be that person that people can count on every single time. And that's how you become the hometown hero. 
So that's all for my tips. I just want you to remember, as Grant Cardone says, success is your obligation, your duty, your responsibility. No one else's job is to make you successful. It's not up to artists who have gotten bigger uh, in the past from your hometown. It's not up to radio DJs. It's not up to the club promoters or the booking agents. It's up to you. And the quicker you understand that, the easier it's going to be for you to move forward. And it's also going to be easier for you to accept some of the shortcomings. Because there's going to be a lot, a lot of obstacles in your way. There are going to be a lot of people who tell you no before you get to a yes. But if you understand how everything works, it'll make those no's a lot easier to deal with. So, I want you to succeed. By the way... I'm working on a book. It's called The Music Marketing Guidebook. It's launching this spring. And if you want to know more about how to get your music out to new audiences, how to make money with your music, how to really make traction and build a successful career, sign up for the waiting list. You are not going to want to miss this book and some of the extras that are going to come with it. So I'll leave all the links in the description below. And I'll see you in another video very soon. Peace.